Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. I'm so stoked to have this one finally. Boba Fett, Tython. We're going to take a look at the packaging and then we're going to look at the figure. And uh, yeah, because I was impatient. Normally I normally I'll record this part of the review before I actually take the figure out. Um, but I was impatient and uh, I like the look of the figure so I opened it beforehand. Um, <laughs> Oh, I love the love the picture of Tim Morrison as Boba Fett there on the side of the box. I think that looks awesome. Boba Fett Tython, part of the Mandalorian subline. But it could pass off as Book of Boba Fett as well. Little bio on the back says, Once regarded as one of the most fearsome and capable bounty hunters in the galaxy, Boba Fett seemingly met his demise in the Sarlacc pit on Tatooine. A survivor to his core, Fett lived to fight another day. So yeah, looking very, very cool. Love that artwork. Just so good. So yeah, it's standard Black Series packaging. Let's take a look at the figure. Get him here and uh, center him up. And yeah, sort of giving him a bit of a pose. As you can see, the accessories he comes with his own made gaffy stick which does have a sort of string tie so you can rope it over his shoulder. <clears throat> you can also see the, uh, the rifle, which is also got a plastic strap that goes over his shoulder, but it looks nice. It's done really well. He does have a blaster pistol, which is currently holstered. That is the same pistol he, wear, he uses after he's armed himself up on Tython. So let's get a close look at the head. It looks pretty good if you ask me. I think a nice sort of matte spray would definitely help it. It's not too bad. It's sort of, it, it just find it's glossy in some parts like under the eyes, probably where all the printing takes place. Um, I think some of the white sort of smudging around his scars and stuff. It's not showing up on camera, but it looks a lot. Um, it stands out a lot more in person. So I'm very tempted to sort of maybe just get a little bit of acetone or something and just just smudge it and just blend it blend it in a little bit more, just so it doesn't look like you know look look like he's put his sunscreen on and hasn't rubbed it in properly. But yeah, not a bad likeness of, of old Tem. I think he looks fantastic. So we'll take the gaffy stick out of his hand here. Yeah, interestingly, it's like a it's like a pretty much a gold. Which is interesting. And uh, yeah, it looks like there's a join in the middle, but it's not coming apart, so I'm not gonna try and force it. Otherwise, I, I think I'd like to add a little bit more detail to this. Um, just paint a little bit of black on that end, just to make it a little bit more screen accurate. Otherwise, it's not too bad. <clears throat> the fact that it is different to the standard Tuscan Raider one is good. So that's cool. Um, a little look at the blaster. The rifle there, that looks cool. Some nice detailing on it. Looks good. And uh, we'll take a look at his holster, which at the blaster that's in the holster. So yeah, it's a cool little gun. Nicely sculpted, some nice details. A bit of brown for the uh, the handle not bad at all it does fit nicely in that in that uh holster there so yeah probably the uh only sort of minor downfall for me is the color of the robe um it is just a sort of brown like the jedi robes um where i think black would have stood out a lot more or even like a really really dark brown um because yeah it's very much a <laughs> very it's either black or very very dark brown in the series and they've given what well, they've given isn't bad, but um, it's yeah 
I'd, I'd prefer a little bit more black. I just think that would feel a little bit more accurate for this one, but it fits well, it looks nice. Um, a lot of great people out there doing customs that just are just absolutely incredible. But I like what they've sort of done with the sort of jagged edges, the way it's been cut on the side. As long as they don't sort of start fraying and wearing, I guess it all depends on how much you play with it. Um, but yeah, it looks all right. I don't, I'm not upset about it at all. I think it looks okay. Um, I may even look at just dyeing it black. Um, I'm sure, you know, it's not very expensive to get fabric dye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift his arms up and we're going to take that off and have a look at the body underneath. Look at my sexy body. So again, we've got a uh, very much just a brown outfit where I feel like just in the show it was it was like a you know a very faded black, but uh, it's okay. I'll, I'm going to live with it because I think it's fine. I don't have a problem with it. Once I've potentially dyed this black and have that over the top, it really won't matter. But yeah, I'm really really liking it a lot. I think it looks cool. Now, I always thought this flap here was going to be part of, was going to be attached to the leg, but it's not. It's a separate sort of soft part, which is all part of the uh, vest there, the, the belt, the shoulder belt there, uh, the holster. It's all, all attached to one another. To get this sort of other back butt flap there. <laughs> and yeah, then we've got some really sort of chunky legs. But it works, I think it looks okay. Like with the, once they're sort of straightened up, it looks like the sort of baggy pants are just sort of hanging around the top of his boots there. I think that looks all right. And yeah, side on, it's pretty well hidden. And even doing that, you know, it's it's not bad. Not bad articulation, they've done well to sort of incorporate the joints into the sort of bulkier sort of plastic of the, of the thighs and uh, but just below the knees there, I suppose. But yeah, he's got the grey boots there, looks good. He's got some gloves on, which look cool. And the way the, uh, even the joints here in the elbows, they're sort of really done nicely in the sculpt there. So much that if you look at it at a certain angle, it doesn't even look like the joints are there, but they are. And they look good. I actually really like this outfit. I, I like this sort of, I like the, the, the feeling of the, not the feeling of it, but the look of the upper shirt with the lines and the, and the sort of collar. I think that looks really cool. I'm, I'm, I really like this fit. I think it looks good. I'm digging it. So a lot of people sort of kit bash this one with the uh, Return of the Jedi Boba Fett to be able to put him and make him re-armoured. I think that, that looks really cool when, when people do that. I think it's fantastic. Um, I personally really like this Bo Boba Fett. I think it's a cool figure. I'm, I'm really stoked to have this one in the collection. I think it looks really good without the, the heavy robe. Again, if it was if the outfit was sort of a almost black, darker brown, I think I would like it. I just a little bit more, you know, that much more. Um, <laughs> but yeah, not not bad at all. I'm digging it. Love to hear what you guys think down in the comments below. Please sound out. I'm gonna give him one more little spin around. And uh, yeah, love to hear what you guys think. It's nice to have. Some new figures rolling in. It feels like it's been a little while. I know life has been busy for me, so yeah, they just haven't been coming. Um, did the other Bib Fortuna the other week, last week. Um, now Boba Fett this week. Get a couple more on the way, so I'm excited about that. Very, very excited. So thank you very much for watching. Um, until my next video, may the force be with you always.